Okay everybody, I'm back. Now I did say that I was going to show you one of these projects. What I've done, <coughs> excuse me, I'm using Crafty Individuals, that's www.craftyindividuals.co.uk products and I will be putting the description, uh, the name in the description, I'll put the link in there. Now what I've got in front of me, um, I've used this mask and what I've done from the board that they sent me, or oh, that was in the package. I didn't want to waste it. So I thought what I'll do is I'll use that. So I've cut a square out. Using the mask as a template. I then put the mask on. And then used some of the heavy carvable modelling paste. Just to put a thin coat over. And then dried that. And I included putting it in the middle as well. But it's come up fantastic. As a beautiful crisp clear. Um stencil or mask so I'm absolutely chuffed with that um, then I've cut some of the butterflies out and I cut two out and the reason why I've done that is because I'm going to layer it so I've done two of those beautiful butterfly look at that really nice really easy to work with just using ordinary card and mine's a watercolour card you know for watercolour paper that uh, paints so I use that because I like the way that it soaks in the colours. Um, there's the die that I've used, which is that one. Um, and then I've managed to find some tiny roses, some closed roses, white and pink roses. Cause this is white and pink project. One large one because you need to work with that. Some pink leaves. Um, I've got some sticky back tabs for the pitch that I'm going to be putting in the middle, some white lace, a white and pink ribbon, a little butterfly that's going to go in, in, well you'll see, you'll see what I'm going to do, some flat back pearl, and I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer uh, Vintage Mist, um, and that's the Antique Rose, so I'm using that one, I've chosen a picture from the sheet of vintage pictures, and this one is the Nostalgia Nostalgia 2 set and I've chosen that because it's got the colours in that I'm working with uh, and I've also got some more trim so what I'm going to do first of all is to colour the background we'll just pop everything to one side uh, colour the background and the butterflies and with this one because I'm doing a double layer I've cut out the bottom two water swirls there I was going to do that but no I'm just going to do those two so first of all I need to colour these We'll just, we've got a lovely shimmer to them, beautiful. I'll just take those out to dry. I will dry them off with the heat tool. Uh, and then, like I say, I'm going to use the same spray. Doesn't matter about that going on the back. For the board. Really give it a good douse of paint, uh, spray. Beautiful. We're just going to take that the way, and we're going to dry that. So just take the heat tool and dry it. Doesn't matter about the uh, the square. I wasn't going to cover that up. Now I could have done it on 2mm chipboard which is what I normally work with but this was included in the parcel and I thought well I'm not going to waste it and you know I don't waste anything. Even that looks nice as a background, look at that. I don't really need that on there so I can just take my cloth and just dab the excess off that because we don't need that at all that's going to be covered up that square Beautiful, looks lovely. I'm going to straighten that off. 
Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Inca, um, the not the bronze. I think we'll use the gold. Take the Inca gold. That one's a little bit thicker than the one I've got here. So we'll just use this. And just lightly go over the flowers. Uh, well, you can lightly go over it all, it doesn't matter. I just think it looks stunning. This mask is gorgeous. It's just to do that. Now, I could have coloured these with inks. I could have done all different things with it, but this is the style I'm doing at the moment. So if you go buy this, and I would advise you to do that, I really would. I love Crafty Individuals um, project uh, products. And they're not that expensive. They're not expensive, put it that way. They're great to work with. Wow, this is coming out gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. And just go over it and over it until you're happy with the deepness of the colour in the gold. Because it dries instantly, does this Inca gold. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that, I think. Lovely. I'm just wiping that off my finger. So I hope you're seeing this. I'm not sure if you can see that. Look, it's beautiful, isn't it? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the picture and I'm just going to put some sticky tabs um, on there just to... lift it off the plaque. Oops, doesn't want to come off my finger. Come on. Oh, oh that must have happened to lady. like that so I'm just gonna take the tops off Okay, move all that to one side, and then I'm just going to place the picture in the centre, like that. But it's like 3D, so it's coming off the page, off the plaque. That's gorgeous. Pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, I've got some of this, which is the flatback pearl. And I'm thinking about putting it around the edge, framing that picture. So I'm just going to do that here. Just want to make sure that I've I've got the right amount. Like that. Like 
And just pop that on there. And then that's just going to fit perfectly on there. I think we'll just have to squeeze one bit in, I think. Just pop that on. Like that, that's fine. Like that. And that just frames that really nicely. Look at that. Um, now I have got some other bits and pieces uh, because I do want to frame this with lace. I'm just going to have a look at this. Uh, and I'm going to start in one corner. Now I'll start at the, in the middle because I've got a bow to put on it as well. So I'm just going to do that. Like that. And it is a gathered lay, so you do really need to pull the gather in a little bit. Just work your way around. Now I've shown you when you get to a corner, you do need to gather it around a corner even though it's a gathered lace. So what we do is we pop that on, spin it round, we pinch and bring that into place. Like that. See, like that. So just keep going. Just keep pinching it along the way. Don't take it quite to the corner. And then as you go around the corner, you pinch it in again. Pop it on, pinch, pop it on, pinch. Like that. And that stops it puckering. Or looking like you've stretched something over the corner. Like I could have used pink lace or, you know, anything like that. But I chose to use the white lace because it's got pink in the background and that. Oops, push that back on quickly. And pinch that around that corner. There we go. Like that. Pinch that in. Say, put, pop it on and pinch it in and then bring it in and pinch that and it lays flat the corner now all I'm going to do is just take that to where I want it remember to still pinch it in a little bit Like that. Well, that's nice. So, if I've got enough, yeah, I think we'll do that. I'm now going to add some pearl. To the edging.
like that. Just cut that off. Sorry, I hope you're seeing this. Like that. It's just made a fantastic background. Um, absolutely thrilled with it. Like that. Isn't that stunning? Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to attach um, the butterfly. What I've done is I've used the same colour um, as I did for the background on the butterflies. Cut the antennae off this one because that's going to lay underneath that one. So I'm now making it into a double winged one. Like that. And then you can lift the wings up. Isn't that stunning? Like that. Um, and I have got, I did have, there we go, I dropped some of the things, flowers. Um, what did I do with the other butterfly? Now what I'm going to do with this, um, I'm actually going to take those out and I'm going to attach this little pink butterfly. Oops. like that okay okay so we've got that butterfly now you can bend the wings and shape them how you want but I like that that's pretty isn't that gorgeous I'm just going to pull these up a little bit to be able to pull them up a bit more. Like that, that's better. Gorgeous. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the butterfly. Well, we'll wait a minute because I've got to put some leaves on and that. Um, but I do think it's uh, the background texture with the paste and the mask from in uh, Crafty Individuals has come out stunning. So I'm going to put the main flower on, which is going to be that one. I'm just going to pop that in the corner there. Am I going to do that? I might need to change my mind. Um, a couple of these flowers. I'm just slightly smaller. And then I'm just going to pop one right in there, tuck that in. Tuck that in as well. Take the leaves and just, when you've got leaves that have got a, a wire on the back, just instead of leaving them flat, put your thumb and finger underneath and your thumb and finger on top and bend it up like that. And then you can slightly twist it and it gives you a really, really fab look for a leaf rather than having it flat 
And I'm just going to sit that in there. Just gives it a bit more of a 3D. So take your thumb and finger on the top, at the bottom and then on the top. Push one down, push one up and you bend it like that. And then you grab hold of it and twist both ways. And it gives you that shape to your leaf. Makes your projects look um, a lot nicer. Very easy to do but so effective. So I'm just going to shove, shove her, place that there, like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, let me see. I'm, I don't think I'll put any more flowers on than that. What I have got though is uh, a bow. Right, I'm not sure because I've got to put the butterfly on. You know, I like it there. Yeah, I'm going to do that actually. So I'm just going to pop, because it's a triple bow, but it's a beautiful bow, and it's pink and white, and it's our theme. Just going to pop that there, so we can still see all of this embossed card. That's fine by the um, flowers, that's great. And then I am going to put this gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly. Um, from Crafty Individuals, just there in that corner. Like that. Lifting up the wings. And I do have a little bit of uh, some pink ribbon. I'm going to find the end of it. Get a little bit of pink ribbon. Just some thin pale pink ribbon. Um, and all I'm going to do is make a hanger from that. So turn the project over. Silky side laid down. And we want that like that. And just to make sure that's uh, safe, take a bit of card. Wherever I put the card, wherever I put the card. There we go. Take a little bit of card, cut a circle out. And then, oops, pop a bit of glue on that. And there you go. That will protect and hold that in place. And uh, you can hang that up. And there you go. I think that's fabulous. It's come out really well. Quite pleased with it. And um, run along and have a look. Crafty Individuals. www.craftyindividuals.co.uk It's just, look at this. It's fabulous. All the embossed. Now you could go over that with colours. You know, with a paintbrush or with a felt uh, marker of some sort. But I wanted to put the gold in it because I love pink, white and gold together. I think it looks stunning. Um, <clears throat> I've just got one thing. I think what I'm going to do, I've got some tiny, tiny, um, no, I did have. Well, how big are those? They're too big. I have some. If I've got a little tiny pink rose, Oh, here they are. Oh, no, it's peach. Don't want that, do we? So we'll find a little tiny one. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I like that. Just a little tiny rose in the hair like that. And there you go. Isn't that fabulous? That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you again. Uh, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.